Hi, this is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy, and today we're going to talk about how we can print our cabin drawing. Usually, a, an architectural uh, project is printed in a big stack of sheets, and the reason it is is it's printed for uh, people that do various things, like people that work on the electrical or the HVAC, so that they can go do a specific sheet and. Uh, it's emphasized what they need to do. So let's say that we wanted to print only the floor plan of the cabin and uh, we've got a lot of extra things on here that we don't want to print. So if I go to here which is the plot book and I look at the first floor it has the same thing. And the way you control what you see or what you view is with something called the view map. I'm going to click on the view map and click on first floor and here I can customize via these layer groups what I want to print and what I don't want to print on a specific sheet. So if I go to settings here I can see that this is on a layer combination called drafting. I'm going to arrow down and say I want to do a floor plan. So I'm going to select a floor plan and that's exactly what I wanted except I have a roof on there and I don't want the roof on that either. So I'm going to do a control L to bring up the layers again and look down here and check to see if I have a roof and I'm going to turn it off and then I have to update. This is very important. Update to make the changes. Say OK and now that is exactly what I want to see for my first floor printout. So now if we go over here to the layout book and we take a look at this drawing it's updating and it's got just exactly what I want it to have in it. So you control layers through the view map. Now this is a using one of these masters and this is a, a D size uh, sheet and we're going to use this because we have how to customize a title block on the um, instructor portal and that would be good to look at because that has how to import your title block from someplace else and how to do everything including these. These are um, kind of like attributed data and what they do is they are, uh, f you can fill in these one place and then they fill up, they will automatically populate the entire sh sheet set. So if you have a change, all you have to do is go one place, which is right here, and it's called Project Info. So we're going to go there, and so you can put in things like, um, this is Anderson New Construction, and we have a project number, but anyway you can see how you could start filling in all of these things. The architect's name is, uh, I don't can't think of anything, so it's going to be um, Smith Architecture. But anyway, you can see how you can fill in a lot of information and on how to customize, we talk about how you can make these. So you can make that on your own title block and do your own custom title block. But for now, you're going to uh, go to the view map where you have a little exercise for this as well, a PDF exercise, but you go to the view map and you uh, customize the layers uh, combinations to be so you only show the floor plan then fill in via the file info the information here and now when we go to print it I would assume that most of you are have an A size a printer and they call that a check plot printer and then when you're ready for the final when everything's perfect then you print it out on a large format printer uh, or a plotter. So we're going to go ahead and do file and we're going to go down to print and we are going to print on an A size sheet so make sure first number one that your printer's here and that's not my printer so I'm going to go over here and change it to this and then I'm also going to do landscape mode 
and if it were a um, if I were printing it in D size it would print lots of pages so what you want to do is it's not going to be to right scale but I'm going to say fit so fit to that printer and then I can say print and that will print a great check plot for me so I can see everything and uh, you could also hand it in and show the instructor how much you know another thing that you can do that's really fun is if I go to model here and uh, let's head down here to generic perspective I knew I was zoomed in so let's zoom out so at least we see something interesting of course it doesn't have a roof on it but we could do a layer states and have that but for now we're just going to do something like that and so then I'm going to go back to my sheets and say on this I would like to have my generic perspective in here too so I can just slide it in here I uh, clicked on it and then I just basically dra click and drag and we'll have it down here and these little lines don't print but I could make this a little bit smaller here it takes a while to get everything perfect but anyway I think you get the idea you can also shift this other sheet out too as well but you can do multiple sheets on uh, or multiple things on uh, one sheet of paper and that helps if um, you don't want to print or it's uh, you know the instructor doesn't want to print a whole bunch of sheets but um, that's how you can print one sheet that's how you can print your cabin that's how you can put more than one view on it so we're going to have an exercise on it and uh, so hopefully this gives you uh, that option and, and if you can get this down you'll be very valuable at an architectural office I promise thanks for listening